Here we have the Johnny West movable cowboy. This is a very collectible item. It's kind of rare. This is in the box. In the box by Mark's Company, Glendale, West Virginia, number 2062. The box is in perfect condition. This is going to be good. Cool. Take a look at the uh, Look at that, still in the package. Brand new, still in the package. Still in the plastic. Movable parts. Movable elbows. Uh oh, looks like the elbow came apart. Johnny West Equipment Man. It even has the Equipment Manual. Authentic cowboy equipment, Johnny West, the vest. The knife, the rifle, sacks of gold. It's got it all. This has got everything. This is the box of gold. coffee pot, his little knife, or his little, this is an amazing, an amazing toy, never been used, and believe it or not, Geronimo, Geronimo comes with it. Now this Geronimo, there's two Geronimos in here. Put his headgear. All the stuff, the paperwork. Johnny West. And Geronimo in perfect condition. So let's go ahead and talk about the history of these toys. So apparently the Marks Company in 1964 decided that they wanted a toy to compete with G.I. Joe, the G.I. Joe action figure line. So Marks created this Johnny West doll. This is the original Johnny West doll, created that in 1965. And it was such a success that many of the other figures like this horse and Geronimo, they came in 1967 when the Marks company expanded the uh, action figure. I believe they called it the Best of the West series, but the Johnny West doll, there on the bottom there, the Johnny West doll, that was the original one in 1965. It, the concept was developed in 1964. It's pretty hard to see the mark here on the horse. It says the Marks, Marks Toy Company and the horses. It's interesting with these horses that they also have movable parts. I think that was the thing in the 19, early 60s, mid 60s, to have movable parts. So that's some of the history 
on this very rare toy. Now the Johnny West toy in the box like this, in in the plastic, the original plastic, hardly used. I mean, it is quite a collector's item. I've seen them go for as much as five hundred dollars, maybe retail. They go to a thousand. But if you wholesaled it out on eBay, you're looking at close to five hundred dollars just for the Johnny West uh, movable toy because that was the original 1965. Of course, like I said, Geronimo and the horses came and. 67 and there were other figures also in this best of the west series there were uh characters like sam cobra chief cherokee thunderbolt was johnny's horse okay so johnny's horse was thunderbolt chief cherokee's horse was storm cloud there were other characters like jane west that was johnny's wife jane west came out in 1966 Jamie West, Johnny's son, was 1967. You had Jay West, another son, Janice West, Josie West, the two daughters. Flame was James Horse. You had um, Buffalo, they had a Buffalo, American Bison. Flick, Flick would have been the German Shepherd. Flack was an English setter. You had the uh, um, Indian TP. Fighting Eagle, another male Indian figure, was Fighting Eagle. You had Sheriff Jarrett, 1973. Sheriff Jarrett would have came out in 1973. Even had General Custer, the uh, Calvary General. General Custer came out in 1968. So there was a whole series of Bill Buck, Fort Apache, Comanche, and uh, Jed Gibson was a male Calvary Scout. So there was quite a few figures. These, these figures were in the Best of the West series. And of course, Johnny West here, this figure here, started the whole thing. This was the original 1965 action figure that started the whole thing. So that's a little history on vintage toys from the 1960s.